In this video, we'll take a look at Koto K panels, an alternative building technology used to build walls. We'll look at the unique design features, the benefits of using them, and towards the end of the video, I'll try to answer the question of affordability of Koto K panels. Also, in the description section of this video, you'll find important links to help you learn more about Koto panels and other related information. Hi, I'm Nick Moyama from Property Noma. First things first, let's look at the brief history of Koto. Kotokop is a company that started in Australia back in 1974, but is currently based in Malaysia. It has a presence in many countries, including Kenya, where I currently live. Here, the company is called Koto Housing Kenya and was established back in the year 2014. So that covers the brief history of Koto. Now, let's shift our focus to the Koto K panel and look at its unique design features. The first design feature is that the Koto K panel is made out of EPS material. EPS stands for expanded polystyrene sheets. EPS has several benefits. One of them is the lightweight nature of EPS. Because of that, the Koto K panel is light to carry around and install. It also means you can transport more panels to your site helping you cut down on transport costs. Another benefit of EPS is that it reduces the weight of your structure. This helps you achieve savings with the materials needed in foundations, beams, columns, and so on. Other relevant benefits of EPS are thermal and sunproofing insulation abilities. These two benefits help in the regulation of temperature and noise for your house. Surrounding the expanded polystyrene is a steel wire mesh. This adds reinforcing strength to the panels. The mesh is embedded inside and covers the entire surface area of the panel. The second design feature of Koto K panels is the use of hollow sections. To help you understand this point better, let's look at the plan or top view of a typical K panel. Don't worry if you find this intimidating. I'll explain some important parts of this drawing in just a sec. So let's start by looking at the hollow sections shown on this drawing. They are rectangular in shape, as you can see. The width of a hollow section is 100 millimeters, which is shown here at the bottom, and the length is 200 millimeters, which is shown at the left side of the drawing. These hollow sections extend all the way to the bottom of the panel. Now, let's look at these notes shown on the right side of the drawing. The first one says that the cores should be filled with a minimum compressive strength of 30 megapascals. This simply means that concrete of this strength or higher should be poured to fill the hollow sections. 30 megapascals translates to grade or class 30 of concrete and it also means that concrete has the strength of 30 newtons per square millimeter. These numbers all mean the same thing. The addition of concrete to the hollow sections gives the panels the strength needed to support loads. The second note simply means that stirrups, which are the bent bars used to hold the main reinforcement bars, should have a radius of 6 mm and should be spaced 75 mm from each other from center to center. The third note means that you can use the cores to pass through electrical or plumbing wires for your house. This useful feature saves on time as it eliminates the excessive hacking of brick or stone walls and plastering when installing these plumbing and electrical pipes. The third design feature is that the Koto K panel comes pre-plastered. This is what the last note means on this drawing. This means you don't have to plaster the entire panel yourself 
or incur the costs of plastering. The only plastering that happens is at the joints where 2K panels meet. This helps the two panels bond together and become monolithic. In this regard, this design feature is a huge time and money saver. Koto K panels come in various dimensions. For the purposes of simplicity, we look at a typical K panel dimension using this isometric drawing. It has a total length of 1.8 meters and a total width of 200 millimeters. As for the height, it comes in various ranges. The shortest height is 0.3 meters. The next height is 0.6 meters, followed by 0.9 meters, and the maximum height is 1.2 meters. Affordability is something that is heavily dependent on your needs and budget. But with that said, is this an affordable technology? Well, in my opinion, a house built using Koto K panels can cost as much as one built using conventional materials. This includes the cost of buying the panels and adding concrete to the cores. With that said, the biggest saving with Koto K panels is time. Time is a big factor, especially for commercial projects. Since a Koto K panel is bigger than a single brick or stone block, construction time is significantly reduced. Koto Housing Kenya also offers house designs based on using Koto K panels. On top of that, they can also build your house using one of their designs. I've included a link to their website below this video. In the next video, we'll compare a Koto K panel to a typical EPS wall panel and look at their differences. I hope you've learned something from this video. Leave a like to help the video reach more people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.